Hi, this is Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are at our Southern Illinois PFR Center here in Effingham, Illinois, and we're conducting some installation of field tile. Now here it's in January, we've been struggling a little bit to get tile in because of the wet conditions this fall and uh, the, the warmer weather uh, we've had, it hasn't allowed to uh, freeze the soil. But we've got some cold weather now, we've got some frost lines of about four to six inches, and we're out here putting some field tile in. Now one of the exciting things that we're doing in our Bex PFR program is we're looking at different water management studies on this particular farm. One of the first things we're evaluating is, is what's the proper pattern tile width to install field tile. So on this particular farm, we're going to be looking at 60-foot pattern tile systems, cutting those down in half to 30-footers, and then going one step further, cutting that in half to even 15-foot pattern tile out here in the field with 3-inch black plastic tile. One of the questions we have in this particular area in southern Illinois is, with this tight clay we have, what is the proper depth to install tile. So one of the neat things that we're doing is we're looking at those pattern tile spacings of 60, 30, and 15 foot spacings, but we're looking at different depths. We're going to install this tile at a normal installation depth of about 36 inches, and then we're going to shallow it up. We'll bring it, in, we'll bring it up about 12 inches or so to a total installation depth of 24 inches, and we'll see with this type of soil if that makes a difference in, in draining that water and doing an effective and efficient job for us. One of the other neat things we're excited about being able to test in this particular study is trying to use field tile for something else other than just drainage, because that's what most, most tile systems are used for, just to get water away. And an area of this, this particular water management study, we're going to be looking at sub-irrigation. So we have teamed up with Yield 360 Water Solutions based out of Morton, Illinois, and we've also teamed up with AgRim. Yield 360 is going to be do the, doing the installation of this tile. Agram's doing the designing of our sub-irrigation study. We've done some of these at our other PFR locations, and we've seen some really good results. We're hoping to get the same uh, type of uh, uh, response in this particular, on this particular farm. But what we're doing with our sub-irrigation is we're putting in 15-foot uh, centers with three-inch black plastic tile, and we're laying that tile in on a contour based on the lay of the land, the slope and the elevation. And then we're going, we're going to gate that system. We're going to have valves where we can outlet the water. We're going to drain that water away in the spring so we can make uh, timely field operations such as planting. But the interesting thing with this study is we're going to be able to bring water back in through that 15-foot uh, pattern tile to irrigate our corn. It's going to be a tremendous way with these tight clay soils in this southern Illinois environment of being able to use tile for something else. Other than just getting water, uh, water away, we're going to bring water back in and we're going to irrigate. We can't wait to bring you the results. It's, we think it's going to be fairly exciting. And you know what? Um, I think we're going to be a pretty good resource for agronomic data involving tile. I don't think there's a whole lot of work that's being done out there showing the return on investment of different tile situations, whether it's just how narrow should we put the tile, how deep should we install it, or being able to do other things like sub-irrigation. So we're very excited about what we're able to bring you with this water management study. Stay tuned for more details. We'll bring you the results throughout the rest of the year. We'll show you what this tile system looks like when we get it completed. We'll show you how the crop is being affected during the growing season. And then ultimately we'll be able to take the harvest results and see what kind of differences we're finding out here in the field. So stay tuned for more details. We can't wait to bring you the results. In the meantime, this has been Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Thank you so much for watching.